What if some of the plants you've been relentlessly pulling from your garden are actually nature's best soil doctors? While many gardeners spend money on fertilizers and amendments, these so-called weeds have been quietly volunteering their services to restore balance, structure, and fertility to your soil entirely for free. Today on Soil Doctor, we're going to shift your perception of weeds and look at five powerful plants that naturally regenerate dead, compacted, and depleted soil. To understand how this works, we need to look at nature's own soil recovery system. When soil becomes lifeless, compacted, or chemically unbalanced, certain plants show up not as invaders but as the first wave of ecological healing. These are known as pioneer species. Their job is to repair damaged ground, often in places where nothing else will grow. Instead of viewing them as pests, we can learn from them. Their presence reveals what your soil needs, and their growth helps meet that need. Let's begin with one of the most misunderstood backyard plants, the dandelion. Far from being a nuisance, dandelions are mineral accumulators with a powerful taproot that can penetrate several feet into the ground. These roots break up hardpan and compacted soil, creating airways and channels that allow water and roots to penetrate more easily. As they reach deep into the subsoil, they draw up calcium, iron, and potassium, nutrients that are otherwise unavailable to shallow-rooted plants. When the leaves die back, those minerals are deposited into the topsoil. Instead of pulling dandelions, try cutting them just above the root before they flower, and compost the leaves directly onto your beds. Next is plantain, not the banana but the hardy, ribbed leaf ground plant that often appears in walkways and compacted lawns. Plantain works more subtly than dandelions. Its dense, fibrous roots weave through the upper layers of compacted soil, slowly loosening it and improving its texture. The leaves are rich in minerals like silica, which supports plant strength and disease resistance. You can cut and drop them around your crops, or compost them for a slow-release mineral source. Allowing plantain to grow in compacted areas can actually improve those paths season after season. Then we have clover, a plant that many already recognize as beneficial, but few understand fully. Clover fixes atmospheric nitrogen into a usable form through a partnership with soil bacteria in its root nodules. This nitrogen doesn't just feed the clover, it enriches the soil long after the plant is gone. Different clover types serve different purposes. White clover for ground cover, red for deep roots and biomass, and crimson for rapid growth and organic matter production. Grow clover in off-season beds or between perennial crops, then chop it at soil level when you're ready to plant. Lamb's quarters may not win any beauty contests, but it's a heavy hitter in the world of soil regeneration. It's known for accumulating nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and calcium in its lush green leaves. These minerals are gathered from deep in the soil profile, then released when the leaves decompose. In depleted soils, lamb's quarters acts as a natural fertilizer factory, Harvest before it goes to seed and compost or mulch with the foliage for best results. Finally, purslane thrives in conditions that challenge most plants, dry, sandy, or nutrient-poor soils. As a succulent, it stores moisture and helps maintain hydration in arid areas. So, let's talk about purslane. It's mucilaginous tissues, well, they slowly break down to create organic matter, this process, you see, really helps in improving soil texture and moisture retention. It's quite fascinating how nature works, isn't it? Now, when it comes to using purslane, here's a tip. You can use cut purslane as mulch in water-stressed beds. This is especially useful in areas where other cover crops, you know, struggle to take hold. It's a simple yet effective solution for those tricky spots. So what's the takeaway? These five plants aren't enemies of your garden, they're indicators of what your soil needs and, even more importantly, tools to fix it. By observing them, allowing them to grow strategically, and managing their biomass, you can regenerate soil health naturally and affordably. Whether it's dandelions opening up hard soil, clover fixing nitrogen, or purslane improving drought resilience, each plant brings something to the table. Soil health is a journey, not a destination. 
These weeds are the first responders, and if you let them, they'll lead your soil back to life. If this opened your eyes to the hidden potential in your garden weeds, subscribe to the Soil Doctor channel. Share this with other growers and let's start working with nature instead of against it.